Now it's time for this week's top five. If you're not familiar with this part of the show, let me explain. We test a large number of gadgets in a particular area of gadgetry and then tell you our top five. This week, iPod Docs. iPod Docs are speaker systems for your iPod, turning it into a proper stereo that lets you share your music with others without passing around waxy earphones. They're a hugely popular peripheral, but which are the best you can buy? Well, I've brought together 20 different docs to do a bit of testing and whittle them down till we're left with our top five. The first test will get rid of those which just can't go loud enough. It's pointless buying speakers that can't fill a room with sound. So, anything that feels puny or weak or distorts as I pump up the volume will fall at the first hurdle. Crank it up. Oh. To make this test as scientific as possible, I'm using a decibel meter. Anything that can't register over 95 decibels, a level we reckon is adequate to fill a room, will go straight back in the box. Well, that hit 84.7. It didn't distort, but it just doesn't go loud enough. Next! It's got no chance. Next! It's not very loud at all, is it? So 83.5. Wow, that was much better than I thought it was going to be. Next! That peaked at 100.1 decibels. Oh, distortion there. Next! Strike him from the list. Rather conveniently, only five of the docks made the 95 decibel mark while remaining clear and crisp. So, we know our top five, but which should be at number one and which should be at number five. On to our second test. And in this test, we were looking for pure sound quality. To make the decision, I'm enlisting the help of our sound man, Todd. So if you can just drop the old headphones. We're going to use a blindfold to make sure that this is fair. One for you, one for me. Pop that on, no peeking. All right. Thanks, Jess. Hit the volume. Todd and I spent five minutes listening to each doc playing the same track from the same iPod Nano. That sounded live, didn't it, Todd? Do you think? Very rich, yeah. It was really distorted. We were in a professional audio suite with near-perfect acoustics. Rubbish sound had nowhere to hide. Not spots off the other one, didn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. All the docks so far were great to listen to, but there were still discernible differences. A bit muddy for me. Well, it didn't have the same clarity as number no. two, but it was better than number one. Mm. After an hour of listening, our job was done. I like that one. <laughs> so here are the Gadget Show's top five iPod docks. At number five, it's the Griffin Evolve. At number four, it's the Pricier Axiomate. At three, it's the Logic 3 Jive Box. At number two, the surprisingly cheap Gear 4 Base Station. And topping the lot is the B&W Zeppelin. And it really looks the part. And the quality is superb. You were loving this set, oh, weren't you? Great sound. I'm really pleased because when it was first released on the internet, some sneaky pictures, I thought it was beautiful. Mm. It's really heavy as well in the flesh, which obviously is very satisfying. And to think that it not only looks great, it sounds great too. That's a good thing. Yeah, it really does. A really great piece of kit. But I've got something else to share. It's something really interesting over here. Nice little bit of technology that John Bentley's already checking out. Look, <laughs> it's 